Hi beautiful, how you doing? Oh, you look so good, I miss you, oh. <laughs> I'm excited for today's video because it's gonna be a challenge and I, I happen to be fond of challenges. Usually I tend to fail at the challenges, but that's okay because I always learn something and it's always quite fun. And um, there's a title right below me right now. And it kind of tells you what's going on in today's video, but I'm gonna re-explain it to you just a little bit. The spin wheel that I will introduce to you in a second will be choosing the destiny, the fate, of my wig that is over here, stage right. This might seem a little confusing at first. It'll make more sense once I get into it, but basically what's gonna happen is I chose five different colors that sort of don't exactly traditionally go together to make this even more challenging for me, and also five placement styles for where the hair color goes. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna spin the wheel, it's gonna choose a color, and then I'm gonna spin the wheel again and it's gonna choose the placement of that color. So it might be blue roots. And which in that case, I'll have to color the roots blue. Wow, I'm a genius. Honestly, this is groundbreaking. And then once I use the color blue and the placement roots, both of those get removed from the board. So then there's only four more to pick from each category and so on until we're left with one. And that is the last thing that I do on the wig. This should be fun. This should be interesting. This should be quite the challenge. Let's do the damn thing. Let's get it started. My wig has arrived. I snatched this off a woman on the street and I stole it from her and now she is here and she is ready to get colored. Hopefully nicely. I'm not sure yet, but as you'll see here, I have clipped up the hair in sections. This is our face frame piece right here at the top. And then I have the underneath section and then the majority of the hair is clipped up into this right here. Uh, and cool. <laughs> Welcome to my game show that I created. I hope nobody's ever done this before, and if they have, please tear me apart in the comment section. I could not find anybody, however, I may be wrong. With that all said, let's do this. We have our wheel of colors here. There are a couple of colors in here that we're a little worried about. Actually, mainly just one. We have black in here. Yeah, so if I have to do, say, black ends, I hope I don't jinx myself there. I don't believe in jinxing, but if I had to do black ends or like a black face frame, I'm not sure how that would look. The best case scenario here is if I get black roots, okay? But we'll see. Fingers crossed for me we don't get uh, black ends. Um, but let's spin the wheel and see what's first. This is so fun. Oh my God, what is it? Magenta, I love magenta. So now that we have magenta chosen, we are gonna go and spin our other wheel. We're back. So now we have our placement of where the magenta is going to go. We have ends, FF is face frame, uh, under, it's underneath, so the back of a head, roots and mids. So that will be the five different placements that I do today. So let's spin this and see where the magenta is going to go. Let's do it. <laughs> It never gets old. Oh shit. Yes. 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 Mm. Honestly, the only thing I was worried about is having to color the ends black. And I just got magenta for the ends. And I would just like to thank my mother for supporting me and um, being there for me. And, uh,. <laughs> I'm just really excited about this. So let's go in and color the damn ends besides the face frame and underneath magenta. I think that's like one of the best options for the ends. I swear this is not ringed in any way possible. And I just got lucky. I mean, it's just like my day. I'm using overtones today. Um, you guys know. So we're gonna make the ends magenta. I've said that a million times now. I should just do it, you know? I'm just a little nervous about it. Listen, I don't know what's gonna be the mids. Uh, I actually, <laughs> now that I think about it, the only thing worse than the ends being black is the mids being black. Imagine having pink ends and black middle section of your hair. I just don't see how that's gonna work. But, you know, it's gonna be kind of weird for me doing the ends first. Normally I'd probably do them last. All right, uh, I'm gonna go like, up. okay. <laughs> I guess that's that. The ends are now colored pink. Oh my God, this is a really pretty color. Okay. We're just gonna blend that up a tiny bit just so it's not too harsh. All right. 
And I'm, once I close the bottle of color, I cannot touch it again. So that is the first piece done. Let's continue. Uh, this is so pretty. I wish I was just doing this. That's kind of boring though. Like I feel like I need more than just this, you know? Ah, fun. This is so good for me. You're doing great, sweetie. All right, just wanna let you know. Yo, magenta is the shit. I don't use a lot of magenta, but like, whoa. And now we have magenta ends, and I think this looks sickening so far. So I'm hyped. Hopefully my attitude stays the same throughout the rest of the video. Let's spin again with the remaining four colors and see what is next, what is about to come. Let's do it. Our remaining four colors are as follows. Turquoise, yellow, silver, and black. Let's see what we get next. I am such a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what placement we get with the silver. Hopefully it's, uh, I don't know what would be best with this. I think roots or like face frame or underneath. I think those would be the best. I think I'm a little scared of the midsection. Let's see what happens. The moment of truth. Let's see where we place the silver color. Face frame, mids, ends, roots, what? Black is not gonna be on the roots. That's like the only sort of good looking place black could go. So, um, great. And we're gonna do uh, silver roots, which I guess it's okay too. Uh, we'll see, I don't know. <laughs> now we have our pastel silver by Overtone. So we are going to somehow do the roots now. Normally I would do the roots first because that makes the most logical sense, but um, we're just trying to make this as hard for me as possible today. I'm gonna go in on the roots somehow um, without, you know, getting this pink all over the place. So let's just get in there, I guess. My plan of action will be like uh, parting this down the middle first and then, uh, are the pinks gonna get everywhere? I'm stressed. <laughs> Hopefully uh, this works. <laughs> the hair is quite yellow, so I'm a little concerned this might not even like change the color. It might just like tone the hair at the top, which would be really unfortunate for me um, and would really be a catastrophic mess. So let's hope that this is dark enough. I think it might be, uh, it should be, I guess. I don't know anymore. This is so hard when you can't even like section the hair because it's already stuck together at the bottom. Okay, we got a section here. I can do this, I can do this. Put your head up, miss. Miss, please put. And we aren't gonna be doing the roots in the uh, face frame or the uh, underneath. So that will all be one solid color. Do you think the face frame is gonna be black? Cause I really hope that's not the case. <laughs> Though I think that would be kind of fun. I've never really seen anybody do a black face frame before. So could be interesting, but most likely a catastrophic mess and a failure. But <laughs> I like to take horizontal back sections when doing roots because when the hair is let down, it'll give you a variation between heights of where the roots are painted and where the roots are not. This is actually going quite well so far. Like I feel like this isn't that hard to section out. I'm feeling good, man. Feeling good. Still looking oddly cool. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna move on to the next round. I wish I could just leave like this. Honestly, kind of a freaking vibe. When's this gonna go wrong? I already, I feel it. I feel it coming. Let's spin the wheel. Now we have black, turquoise, and yellow left. And is it just me or is turquoise the hardest color to spell? Because I just spelled it wrong five times in a row and I'm still not sure it's spelled right. Okay, let's spin the wheel. <laughs> what is it gonna be? Black, yellow, turquoise, black, turquoise, black. The time has come that we find out where the black is gonna get placed. Please tell me underneath, that will be the best case scenario. Mid section would be probably the worst case scenario, but also kind of cute. Face frame would be kind of fucking weird. And those are our three options. So let's just hope we get a good one, I guess. Okay, let's spin her. Oh. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> of course. No, of course. Of course the midsection is gonna be black. Honestly, I think that is probably the worst placement possible. I, I said the ends before, but I think the midsection is probably the absolute worst. I could be wrong, I've been wrong before. Let's see what happens. This is black. Uh, basically like ink. I don't know. I don't even know how I'm gonna approach this without getting it everywhere. Should I use foils? What do I do? Oh no. Okay, I have an idea. Okay, I'm gonna lay the sections on the other side as I go so that the black doesn't get everywhere. Let's just go at it. I guess this feels awfully strange right now. Oh my gosh, this is jet black. Uh, can I even blend this? Can I even touch it? Oh no. <laughs> this wig is gonna be dead after this. Okay, um, I guess I'm just gonna blend it up far. This was a bad idea. Okay, 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 okay. Not the worst, not the worst. The ends. This feels so wrong on just so many levels right now. I don't even know. I can't even like, I can't even blend it. It's black. Maybe the face frame though and, and stuff like that will like bring it all together in some interesting way. Who knows? The black with the pink ends looks cool at least. All right, let's flip this back over. Oh no. Oh no. Let's do the other side. I am by no means thrilled at what's going on right now. This is quite a mess so far. Um, I definitely missed some spots because it's very hard to section out hair that it's already um, colored on the ends and the roots. And the color is drying out because it's taking me so long to do this. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna look good. Um, all right, now down to two colors and two placements. We're gonna figure out what the front color is gonna be and what the back color is gonna be. So, good luck to me. <laughs> it's all down to this, turquoise and yellow. I really don't care which one is which. I don't know, at this point, I think it just looks bad, so. Turquoise, okay, okay, turquoise it is. Let's see where the placement of that is gonna be. Okay, so we have face frame and underneath left. All right, let's see where the turquoise is gonna go. This thing is so much fun. <laughs> underneath, okay. I mean, that's fine. So the turquoise is gonna go underneath here and this section that's clipped up and the yellow is gonna go in the front section. Should be quite interesting. I don't know anymore. Vibrant yellow for the front. Very interesting. <laughs> oh no. I have to say I did get kind of lucky with this one because otherwise it would have been such a pain to try and color the front of this hairline turquoise. At least the yellow is not gonna like get all over the lace. Do you know what, at this point, is that really my concern? Because we have black midsections going on and it's not cute. And boom, that's done. Let's move on to the back and finish this all up. Turquoise. This is so bad. The time has come that I am finally finished with this work of art, this creative abstract masterpiece, this Picasso, if you will. I really have no idea how this one's gonna turn out. This could be catastrophic. This could be kind of decent. This could be actually really cool. Anyways, I'm gonna wait about 25 minutes, rinse this out, blow dry it, style it, and put it on my cabeza, and probably look hideous for you once again on camera. I love putting on wigs and looking so ugly. It's so much fun for me. I'll see you then. Um, <clears throat> I'm a little confused right now because um, I kind of feel like a bad bitch. I'm not gonna lie, and I think this is good for me. Um, but you be the judge. <laughs> 
somebody needs to just wave my head um, because I feel so good. Like what? I'm sorry. How did this happen? How did this turn out so good? I don't know what's going on right now. This is so crazy. This is good for me. I mean, what? Okay, so let's review. So I ended up having to color the roots gray, as you can see, and I don't hate them. I really don't. I think it's kind of cool that the root is a little bit lighter than the midsection, and it's really surprising that I like that because typically I'd be like, what's wrong with your hair? But actually, it ended up looking really decent. I think my favorite part about this wig is these beautiful yellow pieces in the front. They're just like so pretty they're like slightly green they're like very majestic very bright very fun and i think that really like ties together the whole wig this blue this pink it's all so pretty and i actually love the placement of it all this is so crazy like i would wear this wig again like this is so much fun for me i love it i love it i love it highly recommend spinning a wheel to pick your hair color next time but i'm just gonna keep staring at myself until i get over it. how cute this wig is Hello. I do have to say though, it was very difficult to go from coloring the ends to coloring the roots, and then to coloring the mid to black because that like you can't section the hair properly. Normally I go roots, mid to ends. That way I can keep sectioning the hair how I want to section it. So doing that was pretty difficult. I was worried it was all gonna bleed into each other and look weird, but it ended up coming out really beautiful and I'm so excited about it. I was worried this wig was gonna be like dead after this, but she's actually more alive than ever. Hello. Well, that was a fun little challenge. I'm glad I succeeded. I feel like I did. I don't know. Maybe you guys will hate this wig, but I'm into it. I think it's super fun and very me. Like, I feel like this is my bad bitch look on the weekends. Like, hello. <sighs> Anyways, you guys, don't forget. I have my new shampoo and conditioner coming out tomorrow. <laughs> at 3 p.m. Eastern time. So if you'd like to get your hands on that, the website will be linked below. You can go check it out, get ready to purchase if you want to. And also if you guys purchase within the next week or so, um, I'll be picking one person to fly out to New York City and get a motto makeover by me and be in a video with me. And I'll be picking the winner for that on September 22nd. So if you'd like to enter, just show your love for the brand, post on social media, hashtag Mondo makeovers and hashtag X Mondo. And I will see your posts and maybe pick you. So um, get on that. Also, if you wanna see what it's like behind the scenes of my life and Eric's life, my brother, uh, check out our new channel. It'll be linked below. It's called Brad and Eric and it shows our life and how we developed this product you see right here and what it's like behind the scenes and all the goodness that goes into this YouTube life because there's a lot more than meets the eye. But that's all I have to say today. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at BradMondoNYC and thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace. I'm never taking this wig off.